All right, so now we're going to go over a little bit how to set the, the uh, system up. Um, right now we've got, we put water in our, in our live well, and we've got ice in our cooler. So our cooling unit is completely covered, a little water in the bottom. And right now we're already pretty cool, we're at 83 degrees with our water temperature. So what you want to do to set this thermostat, so if you put it on automatic, Take your thermostat all the way counterclockwise. That's going to be set at 32 degrees, so it's going to run and run and run. So you need to monitor now. Monitor your water temperature. See, we've already brought it down to 81.7, so we've dropped it two degrees already. When you get it where you want it, then we'll dial it back up. Say, say we want it now at 81 and a half degrees. We'll turn the knob clockwise until it shuts off. Now it's set at that temperature. If we want to make it lower again, we turn it back counterclockwise. That'll make it cooler, turn the pump back on. So you can just dial it in to where you want it to be by turning that adjustment knob until you get it exactly where you want it. It's that simple. Okay, so Right now we've got our temperature about down to 75 degrees, which is what we're shooting for. So what we're going to do now is adjust this dial back clockwise. It's right there, so it shut off. So that'll be set at 75. We'll take a we'll take a marker and mark where we are. So we know right there is about 75 degrees, which is where we want to be. You may want to be at 80 or whatever, but you can uh, you can set it, dial it in however you want to do that. So now what will happen is this, this uh, pump will stay shut off until the water temperature rises again. And when it rises, then the pump will kick back on and it will pump more, you know, start pumping again and start cooling the water again. Um, in extreme heat situations, uh, summertime especially, when the water is extremely hot, um, we recommend that you fill your live wells up first thing in the morning, drop a bag or two of ice in, in the live well itself and cool that water down initially and use the system for a maintenance uh, system instead of trying to cool the water completely with the unit. Um, it makes a lot more sense, it's a lot easier if you just go ahead and burn you know, 10, 20 pounds of ice, put it in the live well, drop that water temperature down and then maintain it with the system. It works a lot better that way. 